Hello, welcome to SourceCAD, and uh, here we will draw this 3D speaker into AutoCAD, the speaker which you can see right now on the screen. So I'll start with the circle tool. So go to circle and click on center radius. Now make a circle, and I don't need you to be precise. Make a circle which is approximately equal to two units in radius, and go to circle again. Now follow this point and click and make another circle which is equal to 4.5 radius. Now go to tangent tangent radius, click on this circle, click on this circle and press enter. Repeat this process again with tangent tangent radius circle for another half of this geometry. Now I will trim all the remaining parts which are not required. So go to trim command and trim all these portions which is not at all required. Okay. Now I'll make another circle inside of these. So I'll make two circles, two more circles. So go to circle again, center radius and click on the center of this smaller circle. And now make a circle which is smaller in radius than the previous one. Go to center radius circle again, click on the center and make another circle which is smaller than that. Okay, so now we have the internal geometry of this. I'll go on and join it. So select all and click on join. Alternatively, you can press J on the keyboard also to join. So now let's go to 3D. Now in 3D mode, I'll select press pull and click inside this area. So click this area and press pull it upwards. So, uh, okay, take a height approximate height. You don't need to be precise here. Now let's go to the stop view and let's make another circle inside this one which is smaller than this one so go to this and make another circle now go to the circle again and make one more circle which is inside this bigger one go on and make the circle okay so we are done now click on this home icon and let's turn this grid off now i'll go to extract edges now click on this geometry and press enter this is very important step so don't forget it now go to surface and on surface here you will find loft tool so on the surface ribbon go to loft tool and press this top circle and the bottom circle which we have made now go on and repeat this process go to loft tool and click on this top edge and the bottom circle if you won't make uh, if you won't repeat the extract edges command this loft cannot be made so this is important So now let's go on and go to home ribbon and now let's go and make a torus. So select the center and let's click on this point. Let's turn this O snap and O track off. O snap, let's turn this off because it might snap to another point if it if we'll keep it on. Now click on this point and make a torus, a donut shape okay go to 2d wireframe uh, here and change the visual style to shades of gray or shaded now i'll repeat this process again on the another circle also so i'll create this donut shape again and click on the center again okay we need to turn this o snap on and click on the center and again turn this off and make this donut shape so click here and and click here again okay so here we have the two geometries now now let's go and make a cylindrical shape on the smaller circle so for that i'll go to cylinder on the home ribbon go to cylinder and click on the center turn or snap on click on the center and let's zoom it a little because yeah it's turn it off and let's zoom it Yes. And let's make a cylinder which is slightly smaller or equal to the donut shape which we have made and let us extrude it upwards. Yes, this height seems okay and click. Okay, so here we have the cylinder. Now go to solid and the fillet edges and click on the edge and radius and enter a radius of 0 0.5 units. Okay. So now here we have our profile, the dome shape profile. Okay. 
now let's go and uh, draw the another draw another profile on this second circle here we need to make a hemispherical profile a profile which is close to hemisphere so first i will make a sphere here so go to the center point make a sphere which is larger than the radius of our donut shape i'll turn o snap off so make sure you also turn this o snap because it might snap to another point if you'll keep it on now here we have this sphere now let's select this now let's go and select this sphere and turn this 3d move on so turn this 3d move on select this sphere and now click on this cursor and drag it upwards Okay, so now I'll make a slice of this sphere. So we need to cut this sphere. So let's go to slice tool now. So go to slice, select this sphere and press enter. And now select XY plane. XY plane from the command line. Turn this O snap on. And now here we can see three circles. So click on the lowermost circle yes go on and select this lowermost point center point and press enter now you can delete this one so select this top part of this sphere and press erase and now here we have the another half of this sphere now we need to make a shell feature from this sphere so let's go to this shell tool now and make a shell using this sphere uh, this uh, portion so here we have the shell click on this geometry and now click on this top face again this top face again okay and press enter and now enter a shell offset of 0 0.1 units and here we have a shell So now we have the middle part, middle speakers, uh, almost, yes, it's almost complete. Now we need to make external features, but before that, let's uh, fillet it. So go to fillet, chain, click on any of the edges and all the edges will be selected because they are all tangent. Now press enter and accept the default radius of 0.5. Yes, we have here de default radius. You don't need to change it and press enter again. So here we have the fillet. So now let's go and make the outer features now. So go to rectangle, the top face and let's make a rectangle here. So I'll start from here and make a rectangle which is bigger than this profile, this 3D geometry which we have made. Okay. Now let's go to this two point circle and click on the first point and the second point. And now make this two point circle on second edge also on the second side of this rectangle also and go to trim and let's trim all these edges. We don't need all these edges. So let's go and trim these edges. This one also, this edge, this edge and we need to erase this one so go to this arc select and erase it and we also don't need this edge so let's go and trim it again go to trim and trim it again so here we have this complete geometry now now let's go and join it all into a single unit so select all of these edges and go to modify join and join them all Okay, now select it and move this gizmo downwards a little. Okay. Okay, so now let's go to this home icon 
and change it to parallel view and now I'll select this extrude tool so I'll select press pull press pull will be better so select press pull instead of extrude and click on that area and make a press pull which is equal to this so I've selected press pull tool instead of selecting extrude tool here so now let's orbit it a little press this bottom face okay now we'll go to this bottom face and now select this view and on this you need to select this face because we need to draw another another rectangle of this face so from our coordinates I'll select this face and now let's make a rectangle of this face so go to rectangle and uh, turn this O snap off and let's make a rectangle here okay start from this point and make a rectangle of this face Okay, so here we have, we have the rectangles now rectangle now I'll just change the layer of our 3d geometry so let's draw some layers change the color to make this layer visible and let's make it off okay now select this 3d geometry go to layers and place it on the layer which we just created and it's the layer which has been hidden so which has been turned off and now here we have the geometry now go to fillet select radius enter a radius of two units and select polyline and now click on this rectangle so all the edges will have the radius of two units all at once using this polyline now let's go and make another rectangle which is smaller than the previous one but which also lies on the same plane so now here we have another rectangle and we need to manipulate it a little okay okay so here we have the perfect rectangle now go to fillet again and go to radius select this two radius and go to polyline and click on this rectangle okay so here we, here we have these two rectangles now go to home view and we need to move the uh, the second rectangle the smaller rectangle a little downward so select it now click on this move gizmo and move it downwards okay let's orbit it okay we may need to move it down a little bit more so yes we need to move it a little bit more downwards so select this rectangle again and click on this gizmo and move it down a little okay now here we are done so let's go to surface go to loft tool and select this rectangle and this rectangle and press enter twice okay and now you can go to home view and turn our layer on the layer which we have turned off earlier so turn it on to make all the objects appear on screen okay now we need to cover this back portion so to cover this go to surface and patch tool here so go to patch and click on this edge you may need to select chain in order to select all the edges so now select chain and now click on the edge and press enter so okay I think it's not been selected now go on and select it again yes make a selection now yes here it is go on press enter and click on this small grip this small arrow grip which you can see here so click on this small arrow grip and change it to tangent and press enter and here we have this closed profile okay so now let's go to this solid uh, view and uh, solid ribbon and let's apply fillet so again I'm applying fillet to these sharp edges so select this edge and you need to select chain in order to select all the edges at once okay select this edge and all the edges are selected and press enter here also I've selected the default radius of 0.5 units I've not changed the radius all the radii are 0.5 units now let's create the final feature of this model so to create final feature let's go to this view so to create the final feature we just need to turn our UCS so I'll 
move this origin a little downwards so go to origin and move our UCS a little downwards so now here we have it's a little downwards it has been moved downwards now and now let's turn this so select X and turn it like this make sure that you follow the same process because we can only draw an XY plane and now I have made the XY plane on the top of it okay so now go to top view and now you can see that we have here x y axis so now go to circle and make a circle here so let's go and make a circle okay and let's go and make another circle which is inside this circle and click on this point yeah it seems okay and make another circle like this make sure the circle lies inside the circle which we have made previously and now I'll go to extrude and select the smaller circle press enter and extrude it extrude it up to uh, this profile make sure it's completely inside that profile now go to extrude and select the bigger circle and extrude it a little bit upwards okay so here we have this profile so now this is our complete 3D speaker into AutoCAD. If you have any doubts, please let me know in the comment box and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thanks for watching.